Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little video on my hair care routine and what products I've been using as far as non-toxic and organic on my hair. So if you're interested in seeing this video, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right into my hair care routine and right now, or lately, I've been using the Brigio Ginseng and Biotin Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. And these have been okay. I can't say that I truly love them. I'm still um, towards the beginning of the bottles, but they do make my hair feel a little bit dry and a little bit squeaky clean when I go to rinse out the product, especially the shampoo. And that's pretty common for me having blonde hair. Sometimes when I wash it, it does feel a little bit kind of like squeaky or even a little bit stripped and then I need to kind of replenish it with the conditioner. Um, but I've been feeling that way that it's been especially stripped with this volumizing shampoo. And although my natural hair is really fine, so I do like to use a volumizing product over like a deep, deep moisture because sometimes that'll weigh my hair down. This one may be stripping it too much. So I can let you guys know what I think a little bit down the road, but it's okay for right now. So that's the shampoo and conditioner that I've been using lately. So when I'm not using the um, volumizing conditioner, probably every two washes or every other wash, I'll go in with a deep conditioner. And I did also purchase another Brigio product. This is the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioner. And I actually have been really enjoying this it's a little bit lighter so I feel like it does give me extra moisture when I need it but it doesn't weigh my hair down or put a film on it or anything like that on my naturally fine hair so I have really been enjoying their deep conditioner and when I get out of the shower I comb through my hair with a wide tooth comb and I take my time doing that like I said because my hair is color treated and bleached it often takes a lot for me to comb through the tangles and I can't just rip through it at all. So I take my time really going ends to, to roots with the wide tooth comb and then I usually wrap it up in a towel after that and go put body lotion on or whatever. Um, then when once my hair has been in the towel for just a couple minutes and I'm ready to kind of start doing my hair care, um, then I take it down, comb it through again really, really gently, and then I apply my heat styling products and an oil. So the heat protectant that I've been using for months now and I'm still not through my first bottle is the Alterna Bamboo Smooth Anti-Breakage Thermal Protectant Spray. And it is a bit of a thicker consistency. It almost sprays more like a cream. So I spray it in my hand first and apply that, focusing kind of on more towards my ends, but I do apply just a little bit towards the top of my hair since heat is going all over my hair. And I find that if I do use too much of this product, it will create a film on my hair and I'll, my hair will just feel not so good for the rest of the time that I go without washing it again. So I can only use about two, maybe three little sprays of this. So I think that's why it's been lasting me such a long time. But I have noticed that this heat protectant has been really helping protect my hair more than some of the other ones I've used in the past. And um, it's totally worth the price because it lasts a really long time. And so right after I put that in, I go in with an oil spray and I just finished one from Derm Organics and I purchased a different one and this one's also by Alterna and this is the Bamboo Smooth Kendi Oil Dry Oil Mist and it's kind of like a frizz control mist and it's super, super lightweight but I like that again for my fine hair because it's not too heavy and it doesn't weigh my hair down. So I just spray a couple sprays of this, again, more focusing on the ends and then I go back in with a wide tooth comb and kind of distribute all the product with the comb and make sure it does get to the top of my hair just a little bit. The thing that I like about these types of oils as well is they're super light and fine mist, so you can spray them on your ends or throughout your hair um, continuously throughout the week or once you've styled your hair, if you wanna give it a little shine, you can spray a little on or sometimes I'll spray some on before I go to sleep at night and just wrap it up in a bun just to lock in some extra moisture and I just love how fine and light of an oil it is. So then I let my hair air dry with those products on for 
however long. I wash my hair sometimes in the daytime, sometimes at nighttime. So if I'm getting ready to go somewhere, then I'll just kind of do my makeup while my hair is air drying and then go ahead and go in with the blow dryer to save time. Or if I'm just lounging around the house at night, I'll let it air dry maybe more than 50% of the way. I do have some naturally interesting curls, so I can't really let my hair fully air dry without kind of having to overheat style the next day to correct all the kinky curls that happen. So I try and just let it air dry as long as possible to the point where I can blow dry it out and smooth it out and it's not to the point of no return. So I would say I can only let my hair air dry about 50% of the way, but I try to do as much as possible. And then I'll just go in and blow dry it out. I don't do anything fancy and I just go in with kind of like my tangle teasing brush just to make sure I'm not being too harsh on my my hair while it's wet and I just blow dry that out and smooth out some of the tighter curls that kind of happen at the nape of my neck so sometimes I'll just sleep with it once it's blow dried in a really loose high ponytail or if I'm gonna get ready then I'll continue on styling it with a curling wand so I've just been using a dinky cheap Remington curling wand that I got from Target it's probably under $40 and um, it works totally fine. It's probably an inch to an inch and a half. It's one of the tapered ones. So I'll just go and section my hair off. I section the bottom half and the top half. I'll just twist the top up and just throw in a couple really loose curls. My hair is pretty fine and so I put like four on the bottom and like six on top. And then I will just hairspray all of that. I don't like to put any hairspray on my hair extensions so I like to hairspray my natural hair once I've done all the curls and let them cool and then I'll kind of brush them out with my fingers and go in and apply just like two wefts of my hair extensions for just kind of a normal day wearing my hair down. So once I've applied my extensions, I just brush through with my natural hair, making sure they're blended and everything looks decent. And then I will go through and figure out where my part is going to be, if I haven't already, and tease the crown of my hair or the top of my hair just to give myself a little more style or a little more volume. And that's pretty much it. So those are the products that I have been using so far and lately in my hair care routine. Like I said, I don't know if I'm 100% in love with the Brigio Volume Shampoo and Conditioner at this point, but I will let you guys know what I think. I just wanna keep trying new products so I have things to share with you guys and there's just so many products out there that I just wanna keep trying new ones and see what I truly fall in love with instead of sticking to one that's just okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more specific questions on what I used or anything like that, you can leave them below and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.